school officials and law enforcement in Henry County are banding together to keep their students safe. KTVO's Maddie Lee reports on how their work is allowing two school districts to recruit and retain a school resource officer by the fall of 2024. Increasing anxiety over gun violence is forcing educators, legislators, and law enforcement to grapple with solutions to keep students safe at school. In Iowa, this is especially true after the Perry High School shooting in January took the life of a student and the principal. It's right here. It's within two hours of here. Um, I'm trying to take a proactive approach to this. There's been support in the Iowa House for the Students First Safety Act, which would allow trained staff to carry a concealed weapon. I don't think that's the answer and that's the right thing. Um, you know, an SRO gets ongoing training. They, they live in, <clears throat> in that um, frame of mind. Having a school resource officer on campus can provide an extra sense of security in rural areas where it could take first responders up to 30 minutes to reach the emergency. Superintendent Walls is one school official who joined the Henry County Sheriff in appealing to the Board of Supervisors to hire another deputy as a full-time school resource officer. The Sheriff's Department has already been lending Deputy Carlos Lopez on a part-time basis to the New London Community School District. The school resource officer encompasses a lot of things and Carlos has taken it to the maximum. He's taken it to let's be ready for this, let's train for this, let's teach about this. I think it's been really rewarding so far on a part-time basis over in New London. Sheriff McNamee says that Deputy Lopez's presence has decreased the frequency of fights, alcohol and substance use, and truancy. The results even inspired the Winfield Mount Union School District to request a part-time SRO. Um, education is about education, that's what we're here to do, and, and so any time we can minimize um, disruptions, behaviors, whatever it is, um, <clears throat> so our teachers can do what they went to school to do and, and educate our kids, then, then I think that's, that's what's best. With the supervisor's approval, both school districts will help pay to hire a new full-time officer along with some federal funding the sheriff has in the works. Maddie Lee, KTVO News.